Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in this shotcut tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop videos, but at the same time, add animation as well. So let me give you a preview of what we're going to be doing today. So I have this video right here, and as I play it, it crops, and then it animates to the top right of my video. And at the same time, I have another video right below that. So let's see how we're going to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the filters from this current clip. So we'll start from the beginning. And then you want to make sure that you actually have your clips in your timeline. So in this case, I have two different clips. I have this clip right here at the bottom. And then the clip that I actually want to apply the crop and animation to is going to be on top. So once I have these clips here, I'm going to make sure that the top clip is selected. And then I'm going to go to filters and add a filter. And so the first thing we're going to do is the crop. So in this case, we have three different crops. We have a crop circle crop rectangle and crop source. So let's go ahead and start with the crop circle. So once you do that, you automatically have a circle around your video right here in the center. And then you could also adjust the radius. The default is 50%. So you could increase that, which pretty much means there's not going to be a crop or you could decrease the circle. So in this case, if it's below 50%, you're going to get a perfect circle. If it's at like 50% or so, it's kind of like going to crop it off at the top. So there's going to be like a line here and here. So it's not going to be an exact circle. So if you want a complete circle, I would go below 50%. So in this case, we'll just leave it right here at 45%. So that is our crop circle. But in this case, I don't want this black background. I want to be able to see the clip below it. So have a transparency. So all you have to do is go here to your color. So down here at the bottom, you see transparency or you could choose custom color. So in this case, I'm just going to choose the transparency and then do select. And now you can see the clip right below it. So it's transparent. So that's the crop circle along with transparency. So now let's look at the other crop we have. And this one is crop rectangle. And I think this one's going to be the most popular one. And this one gives you more flexibility. So here you're going to see these corners of the crop. So you can adjust this however you want in terms of resizing the crop. But another benefit of this, you could actually reposition it. So here's a circle right here in the middle. You could reposition where the crop is going to be at. And at the same time, you could always add your transparency right here. So that's a really nice feature. It gives you way more flexibility in the actual size of the crop and where it's at. And finally, we have crop source. So we'll go here. This one's very similar to crop rectangle. However, this one will allow you to crop sections of it much quicker. So you could crop it by the top, bottom, and then left and right. And you could also adjust the center bias as well. As you can see there, or you could uncheck this. And so it gives you a lot of control here in terms of getting things more fine tuned for the top, bottom, left and right ratios, and also the center. So those are the three main crops. And as you can see, it's really easy to do. And a lot of people are going to enjoy using this, in my opinion, because you can be pretty creative with it. For fast website hosting and top-notch servers and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so now that we know how to add a crop, let's go ahead and make things a little bit more exciting by adding animations. And so the crop I'm going to use here is the circle crop. So we want to make sure that our clip we want to use, which is on the top, is the right one. And then we're going to go ahead and add our circle crop. I'm going to add that. So now we have that. And at the same time, I want the background to be transparent. I don't want this black background. We'll go to color. Make sure this transparent is chosen under custom. And then select it. And now we could actually resize and position this. So how would you actually do this? Well, you would use a, another filter. It's called the size and position filter. So the great thing about this is you can adjust the size, but you could also adjust the position. So in this case, I want to reposition it up here and resize it as you can see. So now, if I actually watch this, it's already up here, resize and reposition. 
but how do we actually animate it to where it actually starts off in one place and one size, then it goes up here? Well, where we're going to do that is by using keyframes. So if you go up here, there is a keyframes option. When you choose that, another tab down here is going to show up. This is your keyframes, and here is your timelines tab. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to reset everything. So I'm going to go to size and position, and you could go here. There is a reset to default. So we'll go ahead and reset everything. So now it's back to where it was, but I want to leave the crop circle where it's at. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to keyframes. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using advanced keyframes. This is simple keyframes, and then there's advanced keyframes. And if you're not familiar with what keyframes are or how to use it, I do have a tutorial on how to do this in Shotcut. So I'll leave that in the description area below. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to add a keyframe at the beginning. So we're going to go here and then use keyframes for this parameter. And now this is an advanced keyframe. So you notice there's a keyframe at the beginning. And then somewhere in the middle, I want to add another keyframe here. So I haven't done anything yet, but I'm just adding a keyframe. And then finally, I want to choose at the point where I want it to be resized and repositioned. So basically the final place that I want it to be. So I want it to be right here, right there. And so the reason why I added this keyframe in the middle is because I don't want it to start zooming and resizing right away. I want it to gradually from here start to adjust the size and position. It's just a lot smoother that way and it looks better in my opinion. So if I were to watch this right now, see it starts there and then it goes to the final position and size. And if you feel like, you know, you want to change how long this takes, you can actually just move this. Okay. So if you want it to take a little bit longer to get to that point, you could do that as well, or you could shorten it just by moving this keyframe. So that is our size and position. Now we have our animation. So if we go back to our timeline, choose this other clip so you don't see those borders. So we'll go ahead and press play. Boom. There is our animation. So it's resize and reposition. But that's not going to be enough because I want it to start off where it's not cropped you know we don't have this circle crop i wanted to eventually crop and start off full screen at the beginning so we're going to do that through keyframes again i'm going to make sure the clip on top is selected go back to keyframes but in this case i want to choose the crop circle filter instead of the size and position which we already have our keyframes so make sure our play hits back at the beginning go to crop circle add a keyframe here and then what i want to do is i want to add another keyframe so we'll go to the sides and position. You can add it wherever you want. So I'm going to keep things simple. So let's just say we'll add it at this ex same exact spot. We'll go here. And here, you'll go down here to this keyframe. Add a keyframe and play hit. Just go ahead and add that right here. And so now I'm going to go back to the beginning keyframe. And in this case, I don't want to the crop to happen yet. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the radius, go to 100%. So now you get your full image and it's going to animate to this point where the crop does go in. Okay. So we'll go ahead and watch this. There's the crop and then reposition and resize. And that's how you would do that. And at the same time, you could definitely play around with this. So if I decrease this a little bit more, I think the circle looks better because at 50%, it's kind of cut off at the top. So somewhere around there. And we'll go ahead and watch this again on the timeline. So it starts off full screen, crops in, resizes, and repositions. And that's how you would do that. So I really feel this is a very powerful tool and a cool combo to have. So you could create some very interesting videos. And at the same time, you have more than one type of crop that you can use. And so you could be pretty creative with this. So that's actually how you would use the crop features and at the same time, animate, resize, and position. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. 
Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.